Buongiorno, good afternoon. My name is Damien and welcome to my home in the north of Italy where today our coffee at home is going to be, strange enough, capsules. Now, a lot of people often ask me as a coffee professional what I think of capsules and I've got to be honest, I like them. I like them because they're simple, they're efficient and the quality is always guaranteed. Whether it's myself pushing the button, one of my daughters, my wife, my mother-in-law, it's always going to be the same cup of coffee. So therefore, it's a big bonus because if I was to make anything else, it really does make a difference who's making the cup of coffee, the water that's been used, the grind size, and many other factors. And the capsule, you can't get it wrong. If you go to the supermarket today, you're going to find a large selection of brands and blends available. And often this can be very confusing. So this is your guide to understand a little bit more of what those boxes are offering. Now, if we look at our uh, Cafe Verniano selection, these are all compostable, which means that, of course, you don't have the problem of creating this enormous landfill, which you might find for a lot of capsules today. We also have different flavors available. Now, if I sell the first one, Arabica is our blend, which is going to be a little more delicate, a little more lighter, uh, and the creme is not going to be quite as intense. So this is the coffee which will be enjoyed by the people who don't want an overly strong coffee. And next one, the, the red one, the rosso, the cremoso, tends to be one of our biggest sellers. It's one of those blends which is not overly strong, yet at the same time not too delicate. Uh, it does have a good crema, does have a good body, and it's definitely is one of those long lingering flavors which we like in our coffees today. The grey box. This is the more intense out of the three, which are more classical ones. So the grey box, Intenso, is the stronger, more body, more aftertaste that you'll find in all three of the first ones. Uh, it'll also have a crema, which is a lot more intense as well, and probably a little darker in terms of colour. So this might be your breakfast coffee, or the people who do like to have a strong coffee. The Bio. Now this one, however, is made out of organic coffees. So what does that mean? It means the selection of the coffees which are inside the capsules are certified organic. In this case, it means they've had to undergo strict conditions and controls to make sure that in the plantation, there's been no usage of pesticides or chemical fertilizers, etc. So this is not only a compostable capsule, but also your choice of coffee is organic. Now, once again, this is Arabica, so your flavor profile might be quite similar to the gold box. So quite delicate, once again, uh, even a little bit fruity on this one. This is, this is actually one of my preferred coffees. Next one. Our blue one, which is our decaffeinated coffee. Now this means, of course, the coffee has been decaffeinated, which is done when the beans are green. So they come from origin to Italy, and from there the, the coffee beans are decaffeinated, taking out the caffeine molecule. Um, now if I was to go for the gold box, my actual level of caffeine is quite low because of the type of coffees which you use. So I might have one, possibly even two percent of caffeine. Maybe in the stronger coffees, that might rise up to three or four. In your decaf coffee, the caffeine has been taken out. Maybe not completely, but it's so minimal it won't be noticed. Um, your caffeine often will also take away a little bit of bitterness and boldness. So the actual choice of origins is more important again to make sure that the coffee still has an intense flavor. So that's for your, your people who don't like your caffeine, or maybe you want to have a coffee late at night, this is it for you. The last one, Napoli. Now, Napoli is a region in Italy which is very famous for its deep, dark, and strong and intense coffees. If you've ever had the pleasure of going to Napoli, you'll find the baristas pulling on their leaf machines, and the espresso is this very short, very rich, deep, dark, chocolatey type coffee. So this is actually a choice of the origin of coffee and the species, and if you like, the variety which has been used. So out of all of the Cafe Verniano flat blends, this will be the one which has the most body, the most strength, the most deepness, um, and the most amount of caffeine as well. So it's complete opposite to our blue one. Finally, my green box. Now the green box is, has been designed in order to give you a longer cup. So if I was to look at all the other capsules here, your longest extraction would be around one ounce, maybe 30, 40 mils. Uh, beyond that, all I'm extracting is, is maybe loosen this into the cup of coffee, into the espresso. This one, however, the actual grind size and the choice of coffee itself is a little bit different and therefore it's able to give us a lungo. So we can actually go up to 50 or 60 mils. 
Beyond that, you bite once again, you're putting out too much bitter flavour. The espresso capture machine itself is actually quite simple. There's only a few things you really want to be aware of. You want to ensure that your water source is good, fresh, clean water. Often your tap water will have traces of chlorine or fluoride, and this will affect your extraction of any type of coffee. So you do want to make sure the water is clean, clear, obviously, but also maybe look at having bottled water if that is a problem in your region. Do ensure the water is not there for a long time. I wouldn't want to maybe be using my machine once a day and find the water has been inside there for over a month. One more time, so an espresso capture machine, very simple. Um, it's a great thing to have at home, and even in a today, most Italian homes will have an espresso machine.